What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious. You guys are the 11 crew and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Alright guys, what I'm going to do today is something a little bit different. Okay, we're going to build an iron farm slash breeder, aka the iron breeder, together. Just going into it and we'll see how it comes out. I think after 140 something tutorials, I wanted to just mix it up a bit and I kind of feel like, you know what, I've earned that right. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, these are the ingredients that I need. I will go over it. Okay, as you can see, I'm going over it, so you can just pause it. I know normally I read them out, but there's there's a lot this time, and I kind of want to get started. So you can just kind of pause it and see. You obviously don't need the egg, and I don't know if you need if we're gonna need the lamps. Uh, I haven't really decided, and also we may not need the banners. I have an idea in my head what I want to do, and I may be covering redstone torches with them. I may not be, but I'll just put it down for a second so you can. Just zoom in on it and pause it. Okay, here we go. So, let's get ourselves uh, the most important things first, which is going to be... Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I figure we'll go up uh, six high. One, two, three, four, five, six with our andesite. But then on that fifth one, this is just to keep... Actually, we don't even need this, the, the sixth one. I was going to say it's just to keep track, but we have this to keep track. So the sixth one, we're going to come out like this. One, I mean the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should we do the full eight? Uh, seven, eight. Yeah, let's just do the full eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is going to be big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so if you're building along with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it should look like this. Now, keep in mind, guys, you can always skip ahead uh, to find out some of the parts, to find out about rates. This is only going to be a single iron farm. It's not going to be double, quadruple. We're not, you know, stacking doors, none of that nonsense. So it should just be regular rates. Whatever a regular iron farm nets you, that's what this should get you. It should, it should net you. So it shouldn't be anything over the top. I'm not promising you like, you know, 3,000 a minute or an hour or anything crazy. It's probably going to be like, a ha you know, 20 iron to like a half a stack or a stack, something like that. I mean, it's the rates have been really slow on, X on the uh, Bedrock Edition. So just bear that in mind. But anyway, this, this should look good. It's still going to function as an iron farm. Make sure there's no doors around you, like 100 blocks in each direction. Just be safe. I would say 75, but just, just be safe. Make sure there's no doors, uh, trap doors, iron doors are fine. Just no regular wooden doors of any kind. All right, I'm going to fill this in and we'll come right back. Okay, so now that that's done, normally I would say just break off the sides, but we're actually going to do that with our next step. Okay, so we're going to come in like so. Wait, did I have... Okay, I had a piston. I just wanted to make sure. So we can leave off those sides. Because you're just going to go around like this. Perfect. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our pistons. Okay. We're going to break the ends here like this. Put a piston facing up. Break it. Piston facing up. Break it. Piston facing up. Okay. So it's going to be every other one. We should have eight going across, so one, two, three, four, five, oops, five, six, seven, eight, and make sure you're breaking all of those. Do that all the way around, and then I'll meet back up with you guys. Okay, so when it's all done, it should look like this. Cool. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to come over here, and you're just going to come around the edge like so. Okay, and you're just going to go like that. And then make sure on that corner you can do that hard turn. Or the angle turn, I should say, not the hard turn. All right, just like that. Uh, in case you're wondering if I haven't built this yet, how do I get this? I have, like, these weird... I don't know, maybe it's just from doing so much redstone. I get these, like, weird visions and I draw things out on paper and... I don't know, this is this is what came to mind. So we're going we're gonna to kind of figure out the design... As we go along but this is what came to mind okay and you're gonna build this up three three should do the trick because obviously you need two high for the villagers to stand in 
and then you need the other one uh, just for the roof to seal them in okay do not get your villagers in here yet okay the villagers are not to be in here yet oh shoot we'll do the villagers after we do all the bottom part that's when we'll close this off Whoa. perfect and good okay so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to everywhere you see one of those blocks whoops goodness me okay everywhere you see one of those blocks just go ahead and double it up like so okay just like that and we do have to do something with the grass before we uh, finish because i want to make sure we get the we have room down there okay and then this is where i would take the glowstone if you have a lot or you can uh you know you can use jack-o-lanterns uh, you could do jack-o-lanterns every other one otherwise you just you know put a jack-o-lantern and then break that or you could just do like this with the jack-o-lanterns that's fine i'm just since i'm in creative i'm just going to go ahead around the whole thing just like this okay go all the way around just like so whoa somebody outside my house is <laughs> blasting some music okay just like that and then we'll just come up here and fill that in like so okay now i'll explain to you why we have it the way we have it in case you uh in case you cannot tell okay let's just put that there Whoa. beautiful okay so baby villagers can fit under here okay so when they're bred they will come over here they will land on a pressure plate at the bottom which will activate this which will push it up so that'll be the trading hall so it's an iron breeder slash trading hall um and then you'll have this spot right here would be um would be empty or would be set no more villagers can go in there now of course you might have a thing where two villagers go in at once that's not a problem you just decide which one you want to keep and you kill the other one down here however you want to do it you can add lava oh, actually you can't add lava because we have the pressure plate but just kill them with a sword it's really not that big a deal um, there might be a morning period, although I haven't really noticed that on the X on uh, I keep saying the Xbox uh, on the Bedrock Edition. I haven't noticed where you kill villagers, and there's a morning period where they don't spawn. They are where they don't breed. They breed like maniacs on on the Bedrock version. Um, here's the other um, drawback to this design. Okay, both of these right here are going to be connected to the same redstone line, but only one's going to have the pressure plate. Are, are both going to have the pressure plate. Oh, I know why we need the lamps. That's right, for the bottom. Uh, they're both going to have pressure plates. One is going to be hooked up to a lamp. The other one is going to be hooked up to the actual pistons. So let's say this one is hooked up to the piston and nothing has fallen in there yet. This will go down and it'll push up both. So you might occasionally see in each corner where you, where you have no villagers. What I suggest you do at that point is you just take a minecart, right? You take a minecart wherever this village, let's say this villager is here. You take a minecart, you put it outside, you break the lamp, you get the villager into it, and then you just manually put him in there. It's it's It sounds like a hassle, I promise you, it's really not. Uh, this system will net you uh, 32 villagers that it will hold down here, and it will just keep breeding up to the max up here. Okay? So I, I think it's a pretty good system. All right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our spots for our water. So we're going to go come out one, two, three, four on the fifth one. Right, one, two, three, four on the fifth one. And then we can go in each corner over here. So each corner is gonna have water. Right, right there, just like that. So one, two, three, four on the fifth one. And same thing here, one, two, three, four on the fifth one. And then you can also go to each corner like this. Although with this one here, you shouldn't, but just to be safe, just go ahead and do that. Okay, then come underneath, and you're just going to plug up the holes, just like so. Okay, and then we are, we are going to use, oh, we are going to use this space in here. We're going to end up taking away some of this dirt that we have for now. And we also need to do the ends right here. Right, so we got the four, oh, and this one too, I missed that. How did I miss that? It's weird. Uh, the hole's right here. Hole is right here. And last but not least, right here. Perfect. Okay, so now we're just going to come back up. And what we're going to do is around this 
this center right here. So we can actually break these. I probably should have told you to do that when you were down there. Okay, so that was the hole. So let me just keep that there for a second. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go around it like that. And it's going to make a three by three area. Okay. Then what you could do is you can, you can leave this as dirt. It does not matter. I am not going to leave it as dirt. I'm just going to go, whoops. I'm going to put the and aside here like so. Okay. Just like that. You can leave the corners. And then before I forget, let's go ahead and just dump our water right into these little areas right here. Just like so. And then after you put the water on, go ahead and take a, a lily pad or a carpet, whoops, whichever, whichever one you prefer. Um, I like I like the lily pads. I don't know why. I just they're really not useful for much other than decoration. Uh, you can make like walkways and stuff with them, but I mean, obviously everything has to be water based, so you might as well might as well put those suckers to use wherever you can get them, wherever you can. Okay. Cool. And I like to put glass here just in case for some reason you ever have to get in here again. All right, one, two. So just do two layers with that. But you don't have to. You could totally close it off. It's it's really up to you. And then for the top, we're going to go ahead and just cover that. The whole top's going to be covered anyway, minus that hole. Okay. Cool. Now we can come back down. And again, I'm going to use all glass for this. So I'm just going to do three first. All right, so we, we still have room to work underneath there. Just do three. Perfect. Okay. And then same thing here. Actually, for this one, you can leave it. And then what you want to do, is just make sure you get where the area is. So this is the three by three area. Uh, what I'm going to do is just decorate the bottom of that. And we have to figure out where we want our front to be. Uh, I guess we'll make the front this way. Okay, and let's see. So we'll just do it in a line. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Perfect, so they're all facing this way. Excellent. So then you can either put down some glowstone if you want or however you wanna do it. I'm, I'm just gonna use glowstone. You can also use the same ground, whatever. It doesn't matter. And then we're just going to take this chest here. You can double it up since it's an iron farm. You want to have a, you know, you want to have a decent amount of iron that you can collect. Okay, and then let's take our stone brick stairs and go like that. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to go underneath these like this, just like that. All right, put those down. I'm just trying to see where our stairs are going to be able to go. Okay, so you bring those down. Yeah, and then we can bring our stairs over this way, like this. Perfect. So we can put our stairs going that way. Nice. Nice little collection area here. Cool. Okay, so we don't have to do anything with this yet. So this is our front. Okay, so before we work on our front, let's do, let's do the sides. Okay, so first we're going to start by bringing these down here, which you can, you can pretty much see exactly where they are, right here. Okay, so I'm going to go and go ahead and do that all the way around. I'm going to bring these down, okay? Uh, when you get to the front part, so like I said, this is going to be my front. So you just bring this down here, like so. And hold on, let me see how many we're going to come across. So that's three. Can we make four? Mm, yeah, let's do four. So one, two, three, four for the front. And same thing on this side, right? So we got one, two, three, four. And that's going to be too small of an opening, I think. No, we could probably make it work. Yeah, we'll try and make it work. So this is what we're going to do for the front. So the front should look uh, just like this. Don't worry about that one for now. Uh, I, I forgot we are going to have to get rid of one of the... I apologize. We are going to have to get rid of these two. So these two are gone. All right, so we're going to get rid of those two. Come up here, and the way you compensate for that is you just close that off. You don't want the villagers falling down. Only the areas where the 
um, the pistons are. Okay? Cool. So it should look just like that. And then you could just you can just cover that. But we'll, we'll take care of that a little later, okay? So just bring down all the rest of those all the way around and uh, come right back, okay? This is actually looking a lot better than I thought. Okay, you have that going down. Cool. Now what you can go ahead and do is right in between each of these, okay, go ahead and break that and the one behind it. Put that down. So I'm sorry, you're going to put this here with a pressure plate on it and break the one behind it. Okay, so again, break it, put that down, just so it looks nice, just so you can, you know, it's it's basically just so you can uh, see it from when you're back there, and you're going to do that all the way around, except for the front, obviously, you don't want to do the front, because there's nothing there, so you could just go to, put, oops, put this down, and then run across like that, to make it faster, okay, do that, and I'll, I'll come right back. Okay, so I just want to show you something I forgot to tell you before, so this is the front, Okay, so notice how all three have the the block, the pressure plate, whoops, the pressure plate on top, and then the opening, right? All the way across. Same thing for the back. Each of the sides, remember I told you the corners are going to share it? Each of the sides have just the block and the pressure plate, nothing broken there. Same thing over here, and then same thing on that side. So these two sides mirror across from each other, and then the front and the back have it going all the way to the end. Okay, so you'll notice these ends are just, they're not broken. Same thing on this side. Across they are. Okay, so they just have to be mirrored each other if that makes any sense. You can just kind of see how it is here. Okay, cool. It's going to get a little tight, but we still should be able to see because of, uh, you know, because of that right there. Because of this opening. Okay, so now what we're going to do, uh, let's see. I'll take, I hope this works. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put torches, all of that. Okay, so everywhere you see the opening, you just go ahead and put torches on that. Perfect. Beautiful. And then, you can cover that up. Actually, we might as well go all the way up with it for now. Hold on. Unless you don't mind doing the torch. If you don't mind doing the torch tower... Let's see it. Let's see where the torch tower lands us in terms of. No, that's on. We don't want it to be on. Okay, so that's no good. So just put all of these up. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do that really quick. All right, so go up with every single one of them, and then uh, come right back. All right, guys. So also in this corners where the where the two corners meet, make sure that that corner right there. So you, it, it should look like this, right? You should have had it looking something like this. Make sure you go ahead and fill that corner in on all four corners as well. Uh, or you could have just added a slab. I just prefer not to have any gaps at all. Okay. And before we go ahead and do something else over here with the slabs, let's just go ahead and take care of all of the redstone. I know it's going to be a little dark, so maybe I'll just maybe I'll just light it up really quick. Uh, can I, I can't even put a light there. I guess I could put a light there. If you have a lot of glowstone, go ahead and do this. It'll save you. Uh, it'll save you having to do other steps later. But um, otherwise, just put some torches down or something for now, just so you can see in here. I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial, so I want to make sure you guys have plenty of light to see. Okay. Cool. So let's start by the door over here. Whoops. Just cover that up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is on that base, which is the one? Yeah, this is the one. Remember, it's not on this one. This one shouldn't have any redstone underneath it. We're going to do from these, this corner. So put all your torches on. Oops. Put all your torches on the proper one. Okay, again, not this one. Because you want to make sure the right redstone is activated. Nope. It's this one. All right, so this is the cross one. Perfect. Just like that. Cool. Now I'm just going to do one with you guys, and then you can go ahead and do the rest. So we're going to put a block on top, okay? A piece of redstone, uh, a redstone torch there, sorry. A block there, and then we can go ahead and go like that for the inside. Because they're going to be dropping down there anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Okay? So, and then we'll do this one too, and then I'll show you. Just close it up. All right, so just put a torch there, block on top. 
break this one and put a torch there. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and put, now you can, if you have a lot of blocks, you can just go ahead and cover that up. Um, or like I said, just, just leave the glowstone. Just make sure that is, that's covered. Okay, so if you're looking from the front, now keep in mind, we're gonna be, we're gonna be dropping this. So you're not gonna see that anyway. So that's all you're gonna end up seeing. Okay, so just, uh, just keep that in mind. By the way, we're not gonna go ahead and need the banners because I went ahead and did a different design. Okay, now you could, if you wanted to, put a tube here and just be able to see the whole thing. I don't know, I just don't like the, I don't like seeing the redstone. So you could like put, you could like put that there. I don't know. I prefer to just put a solid tube and then the redstone lamp right there. Okay, so that's how your front's going to be. And also you're going to put an iron trap door or a regular trap door is fine, but uh, I like the iron one just so nothing gets activated. Okay, so put it right there. And then we'll do the same thing for this one since we already did that one too. So you'll notice they'll just fall down and they won't. And they, as you can see, I'm stepping on the pressure plate. That goes up exactly what we want. Put that there and that there. Okay, so those are going to be your chambers. So I'm actually going to do this all the way around. So we're going to follow the same pattern. So block, another torch, block, break that one, torch there, and then put a block inside. Okay, since I already have all the um, glowstone there, it's not going to make that much of a difference to me. Okay, so just do that all the way around, and uh, I'll, I'll meet you when you come back. Okay, so that's all done. But just keep in mind, even though the ends are not controlled by both um, pressure plates, like it's, it's only controlled by this one, when you come up here and you do this, okay, on both sides, you do have to put the torches on both, though. Because we do want this row... To control both pistons it's just that this pressure plate is going to be controlling both okay so just make sure you do have the torches on both of those uh, I don't know if I made that clear or not but just in case I didn't there you go okay so ideally you would just want like torches all around here because we're gonna be closing this off so you just want to have like torches or, or whatever whatever you want to have there and now that I just realized this I'm actually gonna go ahead and break this glass Hopefully I remember to make an annotation for you guys on screen to not put the glass here because we're going to be covering all of this up. We don't need any of this extra room. I mean, you could do you could do whatever you want with it. You can absolutely turn it into another storage area cuz uh, keep in mind this has to be here. This is for the water. Okay, so that has to be there. And same thing with this one. So we're not going to be using uh a lot of space in here so if you want to turn this into decoration somehow and then cut off the cut off the room like over here right just cut off the room right there you could totally do that right like this could be your this could be your room right here and then you somehow work that into the picture so maybe you do maybe you put it like a wall right you could totally do that. I am not going to do that. You can design that however you want. We're going to be going, uh, working a lot simpler, which means we can actually get rid of those two on the side. Again, we're doing this on the cuff. We're just, we're just doing it on the fly here, right? So we're bound to make one or two little errors. It's not even an error. It's just a preference. You can still have the glass if you want. Uh, again, if you're going to be changing the room up i mean there's a lot of space though there's still a lot of space in there you can you know put more storage to where you take these and transfer it entirely up to you you guys you guys do whatever you want i on the other hand i'm just going to be it's all lit up so i don't have to worry about anything spawning in there you can put half slabs down if you want all right perfect so what i'm going to be doing is like this i'm going to be covering that up coming out with it just like that and I think for the front here I'm gonna go ahead and do that I don't know that looks that looks kind of good you do whatever pattern makes you happy and then we'll do the floor uh, the same way okay and then before we seal it up what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 
light gray. You can use whatever you want. Light gray stained carpet. You do that. Also, we need to put our three, or our, I'm sorry, our nine signs in here. So I'm going to go on the left. Whoops. I'm going to go on the left. Three. I'm going to go on the right. Three. And that's going to be on the second block up from the piston. So forget the carpet. You got one block up, two blocks up. And then in the middle, I'm just going to come out one, two, three. And then what I like to do is put a block there, okay? Then put my lava, and then just break that block. So nice, it spreads nice and evenly. Perfect. Now we can just take our glass, put it over the back, and boom. Now we have that there. And we have a little walkway for the stairs. If you don't like the stairs, you can just nix it. You don't need it. I thought it was nice to put in there, but we don't need it. I'll, I'll probably I'll try and leave an annotation for that as well, so we don't need it. And that's your that's your iron farm. And again, you can put you know if you need to put some storage here, and you know change these to like actually I could have used those stairs, <laughs> change those to stairs, right? So you can just let's see, come here. Nope. You can come here and put stairs like that. Right, maybe do the same thing here. And I have like a chest going there, or I mean obviously this looks ugly with the andesite, but however you want to do it. Right, like you can do some extra storage there. Really uh really up to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it solid for now. Uh, just because I want it I want it to be whenever I build anything that's like a factory, I have I love that industrial look. Okay, so perfect. Now we can come back up to the top and we can go ahead and come here. So in each corner here, we're going to come up one, two, three. Same thing here. One, two, three. Same thing here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now is the time when you also want to start uh, making sure you have your farmer villager. Okay, I suggest only doing two to start because it's, I mean, if you have more, that's fine, but just wait, you're going to, you're going to probably want to wait until you're, you're done, although maybe not, actually, I don't see, I don't really see why you'd have to, I don't really see why you'd have to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just cover it up like this, I'm going to cover the whole thing, so I will be right back because I'm just going to end up breaking some of it, so you would put your villagers in here right now. So right now is the time uh, to put your two villages in there, unless you want to wait until you unless you want to wait until you uh, do this. You can wait until after you do this. Maybe maybe that's smarter. Okay, so wait until after you do that. Get your villager, uh, your at least your brown coat. I like to have a farmer specifically because I'm just OCD like that. But it just has to be a brown coat, plain brown coat, no black apron, just a regular brown coat. Get him in here. Put any, any other villager in here that you want, does not matter which, and then uh, seal it up. Uh, oh, first you have, to give them, uh, you have to give them your carrots. Okay, so what I would suggest you doing is having like a stack of maybe four, four carrots and throwing it at your villager, your brown coat, so just separate him. Okay, till the land, put your brown coat in first, fill him up with carrots, let him do his thing, then get your other villager in here, and then seal it up. So I'm going to come back, um, I'm going to do the top, I'm going to do all the tilling, I'm going to get my villagers here, and then I'm going to come back. All right, guys, one uh, one quick change. So in the in the corners where we had the lily pads, uh, just break the lily pads and replace them with solid blocks. And I just realized because if a, vi uh, if a villager is standing on there and a baby gets in there, then he's just going to be trapped, and you don't want that. So just go ahead and, and replace it. I managed to get two in here. I fed him his carrot, so he's going to plant everything for me and do all of the dirty work which is exactly what I want. Okay, so we're gonna close that up. Obviously not that. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our door, our doors I should say, and we're just gonna come right over here like this, right over here like this. Okay, like this. Perfect. Oh, get back in there. And same thing. And then we're just going to take our block and we're going to go across the top. Now in the corners here, 
you can do whatever you want. You can either pick it up like that, or you can maybe do something with the glass for design. I think I want to try that. All right, so we'll do one, two, and then a design. I don't know. I have no idea how it's going to look. But if if I did my measurement, oh, whoops. If I did my measurements on paper correctly, we should have a perfect uh, water system for our um, iron golems. I'm hoping. Okay, so here's here's where I hope I did my calculations correctly. So, again, you're going to need a lot of buckets. But if you just go like this, everything should stop. Oh, I hope so. Everything should stop. Let's put it in each corner. Right at the hole. All right, it should be a perfect 9x9. Nine nine. I don't want to look yet. I'm scared. I'm scared. If not, we'll, we could just fix that with signs. But I kind of wanted it to look really cool without the signs. I'm pretty good with water. It's one of my favorite mechanics to work with. Ah, I messed it up. Okay, I messed it up. <laughs> Scratch that. I'm pretty good with pretty good with water, and then I screw it up completely. That's okay. You just go ahead and you just put signs right there, like so. We could do the same thing, right? Just go across like that, and come across like that. Perfect. And the golems, the golems are not going to swim. They're going to fall right through. Okay. So now we can break this. Oh, I should have left that one. Whoops. Because what we want to do is just get that lava back there, like so. Hopefully you watched this first and didn't do it and now have to fall back in there. Okay. Looks good. So it still makes a really cool design. And uh, the iron golems should spawn on that very easily. Uh, if you wanted to, you can add some more spaces here. So like, I don't know, find the center. Come up and then come one, two, three, four, and do like a stone slab on the top. Right? And so, again, same thing. Come up. So, one, two, three, four. And then on that fifth one would be the stone slab. And then you could just kind of uh, connect them and just get more of a walkway for your, for your golems to walk on. I don't know. That's, that's up to you. That's up to you if you want to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to do that, but just, you, you could just do that and then maybe add some trap doors on the sides for them to walk off of. You could totally do that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and top this now so nothing spawns up here. Okay, just like so. I know a lot of iron farms have lights like torches in them, but you don't, you don't need that. As you can see, every area here is filled with water. Let's just make sure if we fall down here, like if we spawned here, we would get pushed, and we do. Let's make sure we can drop through. We should be able to. And booyah. Okay, beautiful. So these guys are not breeding at the moment. Maybe they had. Maybe they got into a fight. I don't. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Just as I said it. Did they make a baby already? And he fell down. Let's see. I want to see some babies. Come on. <laughs> it looks like they got into a huge fight. Come on, give me a baby. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And he's a farmer too. I hope I hope he stays up here. Okay, anyway. So now what's going to happen is as soon as that farmer drops down, as soon as that little baby drops down into one of these little chambers here, he is uh, he's going to... Light up the torch. Okay, so he'll light up the torch. He will light up the lamp. I'm not. I'm not sorry. Not the torch. He'll light up the, the light up the lamp, and then he will close whatever chamber he's at. I, I kind of wanted to watch it from up here. Oh, there we go. Oh, another little thing you can do. I just realized is you can take a wooden trap door, since we have them, and you can put it in here like that against that back wall to make them walk off sooner. Okay, so just do that. Just like so. There we go. 
and that should help them uh, that should help them walk off a little bit sooner let's see if he does I don't want to push him there we go so that one's done and you'll notice that both of them light up so he went in the wrong one so now we're not gonna have anybody in this chamber which is fine like I told you what to do you could just put them in there manually not a big deal okay beautiful there we go and eventually these guys should find their way off plus you'll also have some that stay in here uh, and and grow up so you'll end up having more of a chance for them to breed now they'll breed until they hit as many doors as there are so that's how many villagers they'll uh, they'll breed with the ones that fall down should be should be far enough away to not count towards the cap and also they'll keep breeding until the villagers up here are as many doors as there are so it could create a little bit of lag there's gonna be a lot of villagers uh, just just to let you know there's gonna be a lot of villagers uh, but hopefully all the babies will find their spots let's see where that little guy went of course he's gonna be in the last one yeah he's on the corner there okay so he'll grow up and then you can you know you can put an item frame and whatever he is if you don't like him when he grows up if you don't like his trades just kill him that thing will open and it'll be good to go okay now so that's it that's the whole farm built but let's decorate a little bit let's have a little more fun with it so so we have these three underneath the door so what i'm going to do is just come out with it like so okay, i'm going to go all the way around with it and you, you can use whatever i just like the way the the gray plays off of it so this is dark gray playing off of the light gray of the andesite then we're going to skip a space go all the way around again okay and then uh, we could find the center point on on all of these sides if we wanted to and just do like a little um, a little block in the middle. So let's see, one, two, three, four. So this is the center right here. And then what I wanted to do, the reason we have the iron bars is we can go all the way around like that. Again, this is an iron farm. It's technically a prison because these guys are never gonna see the light of day. So I thought it would be perfect uh, symbolism for the iron bars, right? Iron farm, iron prison, it, it works for me. Let's put that there. Again, you don't you don't need that little that little dip in the middle. You design this however you want. I just I just kind of like it. So one, two, three, four, right there is the center. Okay, and we'll see this we'll see this thing in in finality there. Yeah, looks good. Just gives it a little bit a little bit something extra to it. And then if you wanted to. You know, you can come across the top and put a little brim. Uh, I don't, I don't really think you need to, uh, at all, to be honest. But you never know. Oh, keep in mind, I forgot to tell you, you will not get any iron until up here has a minimum of ten villagers. There needs to be ten villagers standing on this ground right here, fully grown, obviously, because the babies. I mean, they'll count towards it, but uh, they have a chance of falling. So you want to make sure you get. You have exactly 10 up here. And again, let them breed. They're going to breed a lot anyway. So just uh, just let them go crazy. If you want, if you notice that they're not breeding right now, he may have just ran out of uh, some stuff. So let's just give him, I don't know, let's give him another stack. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, they're, don't worry. They're going to they're gonna breed. Okay, so eventually there will be 10 villagers up here. That is when the iron uh, golems will start spawning. Not before that. So if you notice that... Um, you know these are lighting up and you're like oh man this is great but i don't have any iron it's probably they just probably haven't hit the cap yet that's all and again the speed the rates on it are going to be a normal iron farm it's a single iron farm i get that question all the time what are the rates i'm not sitting here promising you a number it's normal rates probably 15 maybe even lower i think i said 20 before but maybe 12 maybe anywhere from 12 to 64 an hour it all depends on uh you know on on the spawning al algorithm and where they where they decided to spawn we only have one layer here so like i said if you want to add that extra little bit a little itty bitty layer uh, go ahead and do that but i would i would suggest you put it on top of this block so this one because I, I showed you what it with those not being there okay and then you want to come out at least five so one two three four five and that way iron golems have plenty of room to maneuver underneath you don't ever want to make sure that you know you don't ever want to make them stuck. Okay, but as you can see, we already got one, two, 
three. Looks like just three for now. Just three of those for now. Up oh, four. <laughs> As I speak, we got four there. All right, so you're going to get villagers. You're absolutely going to get villagers. They should fill up all these spots eventually. Um, if not, you can always, like I said, you can always... So let's say this one is filled up and this one's not. Or, or I'm sorry, the corner, right? Just break this. Put a minecart down first. So I would block this off, block this off. Put a minecart here, right? Like a, uh, a tracker here. And just break that. And eventually he'll walk out right into the cart. And then you can break this, push him in. Okay? So you can totally do it that way. Not a big deal. But uh, I like the way this looks. It's an all-in-one. Uh, you could have also, up here, you could have also added uh, rails underneath the grass. And you could also turn this into a crop farm if you want. And have, you know, the chest somewhere and whatever you want to do. So there's a little bit of a leeway with it as well. So you can add a fourth feature to it. Um, I'm fine with just the breeder and iron farm part. Okay. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys like this, this kind of style where we're building it quick. My plans worked out well. I'm happy with how it came out. And uh, yeah, Captain I was out. Peace.